I'm Gabe Rosenberg. Uh, I'm the digital news editor for WOSU, and I killed the kangaroo. Not a real kangaroo, just a, a sign of a kangaroo. Let me explain. Someone asked WOSU why there is a sign with a kangaroo crossing on it in Clintonville. I asked Curious Seabus, what's up with the kangaroo sign? She'd passed it almost every day to work, but never knew why it was there. So I called the city of Columbus. The city looked into it, and then a week later, I think it was a Monday, someone came to me from across the newsroom. It was like, Gabe, they took down the sign. Gabe called me, I was at work, and he said, I just wanted to let you know. And I had this sinking feeling like, oh no, it's what we didn't want to have happen. The sign is being taken down. And so the entire neighborhood of Clintonville was in a rage over this sign. They had no idea why it got taken down. And I immediately <laughs> logged into Facebook, logged onto social media to see what was happening. And just really felt initially like, oh no, the villagers are gonna come for me with pitchforks. So the funny thing is that in all of the hubbub around the sign's removal, I finally figured out who put it up in the first place. Yes. So about five years ago, there was construction being done down the street from my house uh, on Clinton Elementary. And after the construction was done, the construction company, the city, the school district left up the construction entrance ahead sign. And my neighbors contacted the city, contacted the school district, and no one would take the sign down. They weren't really sure what to do. And one night I was just kind of thinking about it and decided that I would put up a different sign. The reason I didn't come forward about the sign was because it was fun to have a sign that no one knew why it was there. And it just became a sort of neighborhood icon. And then I came along and started asking questions and the sign went away. So things kind of snowballed from there. Save the Roo. This is where the kangaroo sign used to stand. Now kangaroo signs are popping up all around Clintonville. People start putting together petitions and organizing a movement. Each day there would be an article in the newspaper, an article online, uh, made it to NPR Morning Edition. I think if you Google Clintonville kangaroo or just hashtag save the roof, there are at least two to three pages of Google searches dedicated to this happening. They even started a change.org petition to get the kangaroo as the official mascot of Clintonville. All the meanwhile, Jared, who put up the original sign, he called up the city and got the sign back. We had a meeting. We got together a lot of the kangaroo activists that uh, took part in helping getting the sign back and the GoFundMe and all the signs that were around town. And we also met with our CAC rep and she had been in negotiations with the principal at Clinton Elementary to get the sign put there. Why did the, the, this whole kangaroo debacle, why did it, it draw you so much? Why were you so drawn to lead this movement? Uh, I think it was just my turn. I, I see lots of things happen like this where, you know, bureaucracy runs amok or the city does something people don't like. And uh, there are plenty of times where I haven't done anything. I just thought this time I, I should. The more you're curious, the more you're gonna know, the more people you're going to meet, and ultimately link them together. Considering everything that happened, uh, would you do it again? Absolutely, yeah. In the aftermath of all of this, the community came together in a way that none of the residents said that they'd ever seen before. That never before had people sort of rallied around something with small businesses and neighbors coming together and 
protesting and finding a way around and battling the small community against the government and found a peaceful, civically engaged way to resolve it. Maybe killing the kangaroo really saved it in the end, or at least I'd like to think so.